Go sure fit. Yeah, yeah. Go girl. Show em, show em. Go sure fit, Johnson. This is your world. Now pose for em. Show em behind the scenes. Show em your long hair. Even when it's weed. Show em your makeup. Show em your real life. Yeah, with the flaws. Those DIYs and fashion hauls. I am Sure Fit Johnson. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell alerts. What's up you guys? So I have to tie my hair back before I get my makeup done because if not I will literally have hairs and flyaways in my face ruining my makeup. So once I get my headband on to push my hair back, I will also take a elastic or a scrunchie and tie my hair back. Do not forget to wash your hands especially if you use your fingers to actually apply your makeup. You can prime your face now. I have oily skin so I'm going to add this Cita Fill Derma Control. The first thing I'm going to do is work on my eyebrows because your eyebrows make your whole face. I do have my spoolie and I am brushing my eyebrows up. I have not gotten my eyebrows done in so long because of the whole quarantine thing. So I just be looking ratchet walking around my house to be honest. Um, and I also go ahead and comb my eyelashes because I mean, hey, why not? The product that I'm using on my eyebrows is from NYX. It is the paste. And I didn't show it in the video because it is not elf related. But I just wanted you guys to be able to see how I do my eyebrows. Once I get the product on the brush, I like to make super st small strokes and I really like to make sure I do the end of my brow and then work my way up to the very front of my brow because it'll be less product on the brush once I make it to the front of my eyebrow and it won't look as heavy. I will kind of like that feathered look, dark at the end and lighter at the front. This past week I actually went to Walmart and I went to the e.l.f. section and there was so much makeup. I am really surprised on how well e.l.f. has taken their $1 products and just made them so amazing. These are two of the products right here and these products are actually $6. But if you've known e.l.f. for a long time, you know that they used to have $1 products and they've just been growing and their products are still cheap. So I'm going to use this as a concealer to conceal my eyebrows just to make them look more defined, um, cut out, and bolded. I don't use a brush to apply it. I just like to use the applicator that it has on there and go ahead and cut out my eyebrows, concealing those extra hairs. This concealer is so thick, like the consistency is absolutely amazing. You could actually use it for a foundation or just for certain spots on your face. Um, but once I have it all cut out throughout my eyebrows, and I did use a lighter color, this is on purpose to give that highlighted under eyebrow look, I go ahead and take a brush and just blend it out. I do both sides of course. When I'm done, it's not going to look like <laughs> amazing, but at the end, you'll see like it all comes together. I like to add a little bit more to my lids, basically as a primer for my eye lids because I am going to add some a little bit of color to my lids. Nothing fancy, everything very neutral. So this is my other concealer. It is in the color Deep Chestnut. I use it to cover up my um, pores because they are humongous on my cheeks and I go ahead and use this fluffy brush. I do use this as a foundation um, because like I told you guys it's very thick, it, ha it can be full coverage, it's very buildable and um, it's like the perfect color for me as you can see. I do take it a little bit down my neck because I don't want to have that mask effect. And uh, I just go ahead and blend it throughout my whole face. And of course, you know, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. This color literally looks so good on my skin. Um, I am going to contour and then also make my eyeshadow look with this brown. 
it is in the color ebony rich it is very very dark but i love that a lot um it gives me the correct definition for my eyeball sockets and also for my cheeks and i like to go ahead and blend it upward into my eyebrow so that the highlighted portion of my eyebrow is literally just right underneath my eyebrow and the rest is a nice matte brown i take the excess product and i like to go down my nose so that i'm not using too much next i am going to take this liquid glitter and put it on my eyelids just to give myself a little glittery lid this was so easy to put on you guys i literally just smudged it over my eyebrows i'm not dragging it across my whole eyelid i'm just keeping it at the front if you're having trouble with that just pull your eye just a little bit this is the completed look you guys i did go ahead and add some eyelashes to my face that always pulls together a look and some earrings thank you guys for watching